you know, a lot of people are focused very much on simply manifesting a person. They just want to learn how to manifest that one person. And the interest in learning how to manifest as a whole on a macro level, understanding the whole mechanics of how manifesting really works, that's not really there. Kind of a problem there. Because if you don't understand the whole of manifesting, how are you going to apply the whole knowledge of manifesting to manifesting a one specific thing that you want? If you lack all of the knowledge on how the whole of manifesting and the mechanics of that really works, you know? So it's a very backwards way of going about it. And so I'm going to illustrate it this way. When it comes to people, manifesting people, when you're thinking about manifesting in terms of manifesting one person, and that's like your sole interest or focus, it's a very limited vision. The way that you manifest a person is the same way that you manifest everything else. But learn to manifest a person and you've got the key to manifesting it all. However, to learn to manifest a person, it should not start and the focus should not be simply learning for the for the purpose of manifesting this thing because go back to day 1 and if you understand the teachings from day 1 you'll see that if i just want to learn manifesting just so i can get this one thing that's an impure motivation and instead of manifesting the thing that i want i'm going to manifest my impure motivation behind my desire to manifest the thing so we covered that on day 1 so if you if if you're kind of lost in that just go back to day 1 so that is why it is much better to learn how to manifest on a macro level, and then you can learn how to implement and apply those, those manifestation tools on a micro level, specifically towards anything that you want with a great deal of ease. However, once you reach that point and then you successfully learn to manifest the person, it's kind of like... And there's different types of situations that with different levels of difficulty, right? That that call forth different levels of awareness and understanding and growth from you. However, once you really master the art from a macro to micro level of manifesting a person, it's kind of like, if you can do that, you can manifest anything. And I'll tell you why. First of all, a person is just another circumstance. There's no different. There's no difference. There's no difference between one any circumstance or one any reflection to any other. They are all equal. And I don't know why people put people in a different category of difficulty or realm of manifesting than any other circumstance because there is no difference. Think about anything that you want to manifest that isn't purely a state of being. Think about anything that you perceive to be outside of you, a condition or a circumstance that you want to manifest. I don't care if it's money, car, house, job. I don't care if it's anything, 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 anything outside of you. Everything that you want to manifest has to do with other people. That's one thing. So if you learn how to manifest a person, then you can learn how to apply those teachings to transcending circumstances when it comes to all of the circumstances that have to pass through the hands of other people in some way, shape, or form.